Whoa, just burn your face off? My eyelashes. Hello, and welcome back to September Pies, where I am making a pie every day in September. Today I'm gonna to make chicken pot pie with a buttermilk biscuit topping on it. It's gonna be similar to the cottage or shepherd's pie that I made last week, in that it's not gonna have a bottom crust. We're just gonna put like essentially a really thick chicken stew in the pie pans and then top it with the buttermilk biscuit topping. And I think the kids are gonna love it. I'm using my most beloved cookbook, as you can see. It's the America's Test Kitchen one. It's filthy. It really should have been thrown away, but I think it's out of print now. So it's like really expensive and I love it. And the recipes in there aren't necessarily the easiest, but they are always delicious. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I'm gonna spend the afternoon making this pie and I'm gonna get started by first making the buttermilk biscuit dough to put in the fridge. And then I'll get started on the, on the filling. So let's do it.
made the executive decision at the last minute to not put them in pie dishes, but to put them in casserole dishes because I realized we had a lot of it and I wasn't sure. I was like, I think I'm gonna have to do three pies. And then I'm like, I think I'm gonna have to do four pies and I can't fit four pies in my oven. And they said to put it in a 13 by nine. So I put it in here. And since I am the law with this pie making month. I never broke the law. I decided that it's still considered a pie, even in a casserole dish. Okay. Oh, oh. Whoa, just burn your face off? My eyelashes. Eh, who needs them? Ooh. Wow. Look at mm, that smells so gross. Yeah, like, mm. so beautifully. It smells just, you can do it like a earth tectonic. All right. Pearl, do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> It's like lava inside, but we figured it'll cool down quicker if we put it in the bowls. We have company. Megan's brother Wes and his family are here eating with us, so. That does look pretty hot, look at that. That is really steamy. It's like chicken stew. Chicken pot pie. That was a main film. <laughs> you know, this is this would be a good lesson in like archaeology, tectonic place right here. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. I'm a homeschooler, so I do stuff like that. Has anyone eaten any yet, or is it too hot? Pearl, you're burning your mouth over it. What do you think? Um, oh. I'm eating the edges. So oh, you're eating the edges. Are the edges good? We're supposed to sit on the edges. Yeah, really good. Okay. You can taste past the heat. <laughs> I am more. <laughs> okay, Andrew. How do you feel about this meal so far? Um, it's really good. In what way? It's really like thick. It tastes like gravy with biscuits and meat and carrots. So Which I, is exactly what it is. I don't really know why that would be bad. So it's it's like really savory, but the biscuits are really light, so that kind of complements it. Esther, what do you think? I really like it. It's really good. What's it's your another favorite? like. What's your favorite comfort. part? <laughs> about you this? To choose a part. Which one would be your favorite part? Probably. I don't know, all of it's good. Carrot. There's no like bad part to this. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> okay, so Pearl just said what, Pepper? Biscuit. Biscuits for the best? Biscuits, yeah. Pearl knows biscuits. one word and it's biscuits. <laughs> all right, Mike. Oh, oh. Did I didn't see that? you there. We should show what this looks like in here. Can you see that? Just sort of break apart these, break apart these yummy biscuits. <laughs> Take it all up in one bite. Like yummy biscuits. Mm, it is, but it still looks really hot. Mmm. That's very comforting. Like it's really easy. Really easy flavor. You're right. This is like, I know it's kind of warm outside, but on a cold Let's day. Let's pretend that it's cold outside. Okay, it's like fall, really cold. The biscuits are super good. The biscuit part is great. Sorry, there's lots of kids in the other room. You might be hearing that. But it's just great. It's really easy. Really yummy. Mmm. <laughs> All right. Well, we really broke some barriers today. We did? Yep. What kind of barriers? Well, I made my pie in a casserole dish. Oh, you're right. But once again, but it's still a pie. I am the law. I am the law. It just made Whatever. sense. Whatever. And even in the recipe book, it said to. Yeah, so you're still in the recipe. So, and I changed one thing in the recipe, so now it's my recipe. It's my secret recipe. Really? What but did I you do? Put, put it down below. Oh. Are we going to put it down below? Yeah. Okay. So it was really yummy. Yeah, it was great. I don't think we got a whole lot of reactions because we had guests here and it, and it was, you know, I don't know. You don't always feel like super polite, like making your guests be on camera. <laughs> I don't know, for and we whatever reason. we didn't have all the kids there either. So, but I loved it. It was awesome. It tasted really good. The, the biscuits were super yummy. Crowd pleaser. That was really good. And just the whole thing. It didn't need any salt. It didn't need anything added to it. That's true. That's usually, because I, I was like ready to add some salt to it because usually uh, chicken pot pie, I don't know, you Kind of needs a little extra something, but it was really good. I didn't have to do the biscuits because you, I could have made it with the traditional pie crust mm. on top, yeah. or with like a puff pastry, which I will be doing. But I thought it, w since we're doing September pies, let's try something different. But you can also yeah, just let's put a live traditional a little. pie crust on top, and it would be delicious. And I'm gonna do a, I think like a steak type pie with a puff pastry on top coming up. Ooh, a steak pie? I think so. Oh, I like when that. When we were in France, on the border of France and Germany, we had, what was it called? We don't know what it's schnitzel. called. Schnitzel. No, schnitzel is different. No, That's noodles. No, schnitzel is like a, it's almost like a chicken fried steak. Oh yeah, you're right. I can't remember what it's called. If you remember, 
tell me in the comments, but it's like, <laughs> we it was like go a back big and watch the video. pastry. And then they like poured like a chicken stew, just like what was in our pot pie tonight, but into the pastry, like made a hole in it. And it was incredible. So was I was good. tempted to use the puff pastry, but I'm like, no, I'll use biscuits because that's yummy. And biscuits go better with chicken than with steak. And I'll use a puff pastry on like a steak type thing. So thanks for coming along, guys. It's still a little loud in here. Everybody's headed to bed, but and no dessert pie. Did you feel okay? I felt fine. I'm, we've had so much pie that I don't I don't feel deprived you in the pie department wanting. either way. That's good. <laughs> but we'll see you tomorrow with another pie. See ya. Bye. Bye.